Alright everyone, welcome back here to my Clicker Heroes playthrough. So everyone, we are about to hit 12.40 now. There we go, 12.40 boss, just been destroyed straight off the bat, excellent stuff. I really do hope that you all do enjoy this episode, please remember to hit that like button if you did guys. And of course, thank you all so much for watching, you are all absolutely amazing out there man. I'm really glad that you all have stayed tuned to this series for so long now. It really does make my day knowing that you all do care about the content I post. So I'm really hoping we can hit 50 likes this episode, I don't know if we can do it. In the last episode we managed to do it, so thank you all so much for that, it really does make my day. So, we've just hit the Energize ability, we're gonna activate the Dark Ritual now with the Energize, there we go. Oh wow, look how much DPS we just lost. <laughs> because technically it's an active ability I just activated then, it cancels our idle DPS boost. But that's okay, we'll just uh, purchase Glad Eye here a bit, that sped up the DPS count a bit there, nice. At the moment we do have Atlas at 1500, but before we make any changes to Atlas, I think we will check out the rest of our uh, gameplay here. So we have the mercenaries, how are they going? Oh, we lost the mercenary, you're kidding me. Okay, so let's bury him. No, I don't want to spend 40 new <laughs> rubies hiring a mercenary. Just hired a new mercenary then, excellent. So now I have to hire another mercenary. Uh, this guy gets a reward, 5% boost from quest, and that's for the hero souls. We'll just go for the ruby, I think. Collect gold. Do we want to collect this gold now? No, I think we'll wait. We've got 109,000 hero souls then, thanks to that quest. Let's go for the gold, okay. So I think we'll wait now. Yeah, right, we'll just wait. We won't collect that quest just yet, guys. We'll let the gold stack up a bit before we do that. Um, I will be reading your guys' comments out, so just continue to watch, guys. It'll be later on in the episode. I'll read through the previous part's comments. So, let's see how the clan's going. Oh, no, that's right. I did a clan clean out, didn't I? Clearly forgot about that. Uh, right now, if you're watching this, the clan is empty. Please be sure to join Clan of Clickers. You must be at least level 1500. All right, everyone, so just apply now. Thank you very much. We need some members as soon as possible. Okay, so I'm sure that's gonna flood now and be full 100%. <laughs> that's what I want. So either way, just got Atlas to 1600. Soon we'll start to level out of Atlas. I think we'll spec into Pathalo. That might be the next best choice. I could put all my Gilded statuses into Glad Eye, but Glad Eye is quite expensive. I mean, it's just, it's all a matter of which hero I really want to use and which one I don't, because Glad Eye technically I just unlock then, so she will be the most expensive for now. But I just have that feeling that obviously putting all my Gilded statuses into Pathalo will be much more beneficial for me, thanks to the DPS boost that Pathalo will give us. Alright, so Pathalo is at level 600 there, doing some massive damage. Let me just chuck all the Gilded statuses into Pathalo here, shall we? There we go. Alright, so now Pathalo is doing some pretty big damage, dude. She should hopefully carry us through here if all goes to plan. Just have to see how we go at this point in the game. Pretty much in this episode, we're just going to try and grind as much as we can. We're going to try and get as like, far as we can without hitting a wall. But thanks to the hybrid spec, even if we do technically hit a wall, we can activate our abilities and hopefully smash through that wall. That's what you guys keep telling me is so good about the hybrid spec, so I cannot actually wait to try it out. I guess time will only tell now how good the hybrid spec really is. So we're just trying to level up the failure here. Very expensive hero, as you guys know. I just have that feeling it would be a better investment than Glad Eye because I can't actually level Glad Eye up. She's really expensive, dude. But I don't know, you see, I mean, I know some people probably would have leveled up Glad Eye, but I just feel comfortable in Bethalo since I can keep leveling her up. Who knows, dude? It's all personal preference, isn't it, really? We're about to hit 1300 anyway here, guys. That's awesome. I've got a quick question for you all, by the way. Would you guys like to see more face cam? I thought I'd better ask it now, early into the part. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see face cam or not. Because I think I should start bringing it back. What do you guys reckon, hey? It's all up to you viewers out there. Do you want to see my head in this game or not? I mean, I have no problem at all not going on the face cam. I just thought it would spice up the episodes a bit. You know what I mean? It seems you guys really enjoyed the face cam when I did bring it out. So, it's all up to you. Let me know in the comments below, okay? So three, uh, 1310 everyone, 1311 now, beautiful stuff, can't level up the Thalo at all, seems too expensive still, that's not good at all man, could you imagine if we were leveling up with uh, Gladeye right now, 
Though I do get the sneaky suspicion glad I will be doing more damage, of course, than Cthalo, especially with the Gilded statuses. Ah oh well, can't go back now. I'm not going to waste any more hero souls on Gilded statuses. We'll just stick to Cthalo for now. 1321. Beautiful stuff. Just cruising through the levels here. I'm yet to hit a wall at all. So that's always good to see. We can ascend for 6 million hero souls. It's just going to take a while. Nice. See that? That was a 10 times bonus then I'm fairly sure. Them silver coins chest. That's what you want to see, dude. There's another one. Look at that. How fluky is that? That's so good. Awesome. All right, 1330. Oh, wow. Hang on. We're getting gilded statuses again. This is interesting. Last wow, Samurai. Chuck that into the Thalo there. Awesome. This is very good, guys. 1340 is coming up. Leet. <laughs> That's a 1337, obviously. Just gonna wait. 1340, there we go. Gilded status. Fire Mage. Cthalo, stack that instantly. So, yeah, there's not much we can really do now at this point. We just have to let the game just smash it out. We'll keep grinding up the gold, I reckon, for the time being. 6.1 million hero souls, by the way, that we can ascend for at the moment. How good is that, legitimately? You gotta love that, seriously. 1350 is coming up. Should be really good. Hopefully we can get a primal again. No, no primal. Every time I say I want a primal, I always jinx it. Alright, there's a Goddess of Love. Chuck down to the Thalo. Okay, I reckon we'll start reading through the comments now, guys. What do you all reckon? We have quite a bit. Let's start from the start here. So, Isaac. First comment, huge fan. Thank you very much, Isaac. Uh, Darkest Void. Oh my god, first one to watch and comment. No, sorry, you got beaten by Isaac. <laughs> Don't know how badly, but I think it would have been close. You're so good, bro. That's Darkest Voids. Thank you very much. Simone Adams, love your vids. Thank you very much, friend. Uh, what's this? Kajuis. I'm not going to bother pronouncing that last name. I can't pronounce that. Do like three or two hundred videos, please. Okay, that's him uh, uh, telling me how much videos I should post in the series in total. Because we are approaching our uh, 200th episode. So that's going to be pretty insane when that does come around, dude. Um... Uh... Twain, or Twain, Van, you deserve more subs and views, man. Thank you very much. Uh, let's keep looking. Here we go, Panda Timo. Um, hey, man, I'm not playing that long clicker heroes, but I'm stuck at Dread Knight. So hard and slow to get enough money to get him. Teammates from Clan said that I should ascend, and then it will be easier, but I ascended twice, and, and it's still the same problem. I'm right now at 180. But it's so slow to get that much money. Do you have any advice for me? Um, at 180, what are you doing trying to get uh, the Dread Knight? Dread Knight's way too expensive at that level, dude. What I suggest, keep ascending. Uh, that's all you can really do, just keep ascending, grinding up them hero souls because you need to really, like, you need to really uh, level up the Masked Samurai at that point and put your guild of statuses into the Masked Samurai. He's going to be the one to get you through them tough times, uh, trying to get to the Dread Knight. So, that's my advice to you, dude. Don't worry about Dread Knight now. Stick to leveling up Masked Samurai, okay? That's the best advice I think I can give you. Uh, Dread Knight's later on, and even then, you don't even want to use Dread Knight. You'll probably get Dread Knight to level 100, and then, like I did, and just buy his abilities, but then keep stacking into the Masked Samurai, all your guild statuses. Masked Samurai should get you to at least Terra. Or Atlas, then you go into Atlas. That's how it works usually. I think around level 1500 Masked Samurai, then you start moving on to Atlas. So I hope that helps you out. There's 1400 by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Zest a lot. I watched all the way to the end. Thank you very much, mate. That means a lot. What else we got here? Hmm. Ethan Butler. Lee, uh, Lee, yeah. Love your vids, and I haven't closed Clicker Heroes on my PC in 10 days. I'm addicted. <laughs> Alright, fair enough, man. Uh, that's up to you. I'd say get some rest. If I was you, I'd get some rest. I hope you haven't been playing 10 days straight, because I don't think that's possible. But, yeah, I'd say turn off your computer and give your computer a rest for at least an hour. 
<laughs> um, for your 200 special, you should do a two hour long video. Someone wrote back, and that's Gohan I wrote that by the way. Someone wrote back, 200 minute video, holy crap, that's insane. Um, and then someone else wrote, two, what's this? Two hours exactly vid, oh yeah, nice. So they want me to do a two hour video, I reckon. Oh no, hang on, is this guy saying two minute video? He's got two and a zero zero with the, with the little colon in the hair, whatever it is. Uh, the two dots. You should do a two long video. <laughs> Uh, okay, Kelly must have corrected him there. Two hours. Uh, Omega Gamer, yeah, I don't understand why you play Clicker Heroes on phone. Why can't you just play on the PC? I agree, there's no real point in playing on the phone at all. You guys obviously want to see me play on the PC. Uh, Go Harm, when I started I kept saying Glide and not Guild. Okay, that's interesting. Luca, where do I find Clicker Heroes 2 site? I think what you have to do is just type in on Google Clicker Heroes 2. Let's do that now. Clicker Heroes 2. And it should take you, yeah, at the top page there on Google. You just sign up to the beta there. They'll give you an email, I guess, when they're looking for players. I better get one, I'll be so pissed off, seriously. Um, King Midas, open all. Oh crap, we got so many Gilded statuses. All into Bethalo, there you go. Bethalo is almost level 1000 now, by the way. How good is that? Which relic is best for me? I get around 300 hero souls per ascension. Should I get Solomon? Um, yeah, I'd say I always get Solomon. But the thing is, what are you trying to do? I mean, do you have a spec or anything you're doing? I don't know. Hang on, someone's applied already. Too low, sorry, mate. Um, yeah, it all matters on what you're trying to do. I mean, my relics are quite good, I guess, for what I'm trying to do here. I have the Ancient of Shadows in a majority of them. There's Solomon there. There's another Solomon. So quite good. I'd say, yeah, I guess go for Solomon Relics so you can boost your hero soul intake. There you go. Pithalo is level 1000 now, guys. Beautiful stuff. Uh, Cod, uh, Cool Python. Will you ever play a Clicker Heroes? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, Bloody Frizen, yeah, I watched all of them in over two days, about three days, and we don't have the update yet on mobile. Really want it because I get stuck on 1500, but I've gathered about 5 million souls. Uh, I guess I'm doing something wrong. Hmm, I wouldn't say you're doing something wrong if you gather that many souls. Keep up the awesome work, as always, and blitz away at those zones. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, What's this? Oh, and one more thing, kind of amazing and heartbreaking to see you get 100k plus hero souls on zone 1200 whilst I get 15, oh wow, 1150 hero so souls on zone 1400. How mad would you be, dude? That would suck, bloody. Uh, Wardo Destroyer, please do face cam. I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. I might bring it back. It's all up to you guys if you want to see it. Oops, I accidentally leveled up that eye then. Right, so we have some Gilded Statuses here again. So we'll put that into Bethalo. Another guild of status unlocked. Wow. Uh, HPH, love your vids. Can't wait to episode 200. Also, I've learned a lot from watching your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, man. Andrew, okay. Save all rubies for just after you transcend so you can quick ascend. Uh, that means you can start your ancients off instantly and get Solomon. So your first ascension will bring a load of souls and you end up with. Oh, and, oh hang on. And if you end up with 70 rubies. Then do a time lapse and get a quick ascension. Yeah, choices there, Andrew. Thank you very much for the tip. I really know about the transcension thing and the quick ascension. You gotta remember, I have transcended already. Um, but thanks anyway for the tip. What's this? Olo oh, lol. <laughs> I'm at fourteen fifty. Can I join? Yeah, all right. If you apply and get in, a lot of people are going to be applying soon though. As soon as this video goes up. Weezy the nerd, I think it's stupid we don't have patch 1.0 on mobile, it would, make, it would make the game a lot better. Yeah, that's pretty silly, I know. I don't know what I can do about that though, pretty much nothing. <laughs> it's all up to the developers, they were too busy making Ragnarok clicker. I don't know what planet they're on with that freaking, you know, thought, but I don't know what made them go in that direction, nor do I really care, because I'm not playing that game. Screw that, dude. Let's put that all into Pathalo again. 
Patello is almost at uh, 150 gilded status. Uh, what's this? Since the new update, just save rubies for transcendence. Yeah, I guess so, Godzilla Freak. Um, Adam? Hi, I love your vids, dude. I just want to ask if I play Terra. I guess it means if I play Terra. Don't auto-kill everything. Also, what hero should I put my guilds in? Oh, he asked not to say his name. Oh, that's alright. I didn't say your full name. <laughs> um, I'd say put your guild status in... Well, hang on, what level are you on? Not too sure. Hang on, I just want to ask if Terra don't auto-kill everything. What does that mean, everyone? Does it mean if I go into Terra, don't kill everything? I don't know. I don't understand your question there, Adam. Sorry, mate. Might want to repost that. Uh, the dumbass watched the whole vid. Thank you very much, man. Oh. Nigel, Vince, I have a query because watching you cla claim, clam? C-L-A-I-M. <laughs> Is that claim? Well, I don't know. Uh, from Mercs. You not seem to give quests that gives the bonus rewards to that particular Merc. Ah, oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I need to start doing that. Um, I need to start setting the right Mercs in the right job. That's correct, Nigel. I just don't really care, though, half the time. I just don't realise it. But that is definitely something you should do. Don't follow me on that one, guys. You should send the correct mercenaries on the right quests. Then you get the bonuses, okay? So if you don't know what I mean, pretty much it's that certain mercenaries will have certain percentages next to their names. Here you will see that uh, Sparky has plus five hero souls from quests. He'll get five plus, obviously, percentage increase on hero souls he receives from quests. You know, it's pretty common sense. So definitely don't follow what I do. Uh, definitely follow what the game tells you to do and set the correct quests. See right there, it says plus five skills activated, but I don't really care about skills. I want the rubies, dude. Oh, Lilin's unlocked now. Good. Okay, let's upgrade Pathalo some more. Let's try and get Pathalo to 1500 here. It's just going to take a while. Uh, Nigel, face cam. Yeah, top right corner, so stamp's not in the way. I just, yeah, I don't know where to put the face cam. You have not used hybrid yet, not seen you click anything. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I just have to wait until um, I hit a wall or something there, Nigel, to use more hybrid spec. Vince, you need to get all the achievements before you even think about finishing the series. Damn, if you did finish it before, that would be a waste. Yeah, I agree. I do need to try and get all the achievements. That's just going to be such a long series, dude. Pretty much, if Clicker Heroes 2 comes out, this series is going to go into retirement. Because then I'll move on to Clicker Heroes 2. That's how it works, guys. There's no point in playing Clicker Heroes 1 anymore. I think that's the best thing to do, honestly. Alright, so what else we got here? Flesh Slasher. Since the newest spreadsheet is just for idle, you should just stick to the old one. It's not bad, just got improved a little with a new one. Yeah, that's true. I'm actually hybrid, so idle spreadsheet wouldn't really help me. Uh, what's this? Liam the Wolf. Not sure what part I left to comment, but I had an idea. I think you should put your face cam on the right on the monster's health bar. Okay. Oh yeah, I said the bottom there. That's usually where it was, wasn't it? I'm not too sure. Uh, Donovan, I heard my name and automatically smiled. Thank you. No worries at all, mate. Hope I made you smile again. Uh, what is the amount that I should ascend for? I got no out, man. Only level 200. Um, I guess... Ascend now. <laughs> if you hit a wall, ascend. Simple as that. That's all I can really offer you, dude. Keep ascending. Uh, as soon as you hit the wall. So that's it. That's what I have to say for that one. Now what's this one here? Uh, Hayden... Any spots in the clan? Yes, there are spots right now, so join. Uh, I watched the whole episode, I love your content. The Element Hunter, thank you very much, man. Extreme Meme, what was it like to get your first Dread Knight? He takes forever. Unlocking Dread Knight was so awesome. He one-shotted everything, dude. And that was before the 1.0 patch was released. So Dread Knight actually meant something pretty good. But now Dread Knight's useless, and I would not recommend even bothering with him, except to unlock his abilities. And then you move on from him. That's my honest opinion, anyway. Let me just get this B. Lucky strikes. Can't even use it. What a waste that is. Right, gilded. Shut down to Pathalo again. Someone tell me how to say Terraria. So is, that, is that how you say it? Terraria. Thanks, Francis, if that is the correct way. Uh, Michael, Gaming Ninja. So I transcended for the first time. I had over 200 rubies and I spent 100 rubies on Quick Ascension and got what I needed for the idol spec. Nice job, mate. 
I don't know. Like, I mean, I wouldn't recommend using that many hero souls, but that's your choice. I'm uh, not hero souls, sorry. Rubies. That's a pretty big investment, but you got to do what you got to do. Uh, ben Jacobs. Most of the time I play clicker heroes on my phone and Steam at the same time while watching your vids. Might be a bit sad, but it's too great. Thank you very much, Ben. That means a lot, man. Glad to know you enjoy my content. Uh, keep going here with Thalo. Level him up. Speed Slayer. Yes, do face cam. There's another one for face cam. Cool. And can you please do a tutorial on how to get fast hero souls? I can't... Like, the whole series is pretty much a tutorial, you know what I mean? You can't really base a tutorial on it. I'll give you advice right now. Keep level, Like, keep leveling until you hit a zone you can't beat, then you ascend, then you get hero cells. Make sure you have a spec or an, like a, a build to go into. I'm hybrid at the moment. I have every ancient in the game. You probably won't be able to do this when you first start the game. So my advice would be go idle to start off with, and then um, make sure you purchase the right ancients and make sure you use the calculator and the spreadsheet that's in the description of my videos. That will obviously help you the most. Uh, that's really all I can offer you right now, dude. That's the only way you're going to get hero souls fast. Follow the spreadsheet to the T, and follow the ca calculator to the T. Or if you want, uh, make some small modifications to the calculator to suit your needs, obviously. Because you don't, you don't want to spend too many hero souls, and then be left with no hero souls to actually throw around some gilded statuses. So it's good to have some spare hero souls. Right now I have 1.1 million, so that's awesome. I can actually almost ascend for 10 million. I didn't even realise it was that high, dude. Holy crap, this is insane. Um, that's really good to see, obviously. About to hit 1600, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. How good is this? Legitimately. And that wraps it up for the comments anyway, guys. So, I reckon that wraps it up for the episode as well, once we hit 1600. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that has watched so far, all the way to the end of this video. You are all absolutely amazing, dude. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for the next part of my Clicker Heroes playthrough, okay? We just passed 1600. That is what I like to see. This is excellent for us. Cannot wait to see what the future brings for this series, dude. Especially now, since we're dominating the higher levels. This should be real good, guys. I'll see you all then, alright? See you around.